Hello YouTube and welcome to my introduction video on command blocks and command block tutorials. Uh, we're just going to start this first episode off by giving you a quick tutorial on how to set up clocks and essentially kind of how Minecraft is going to run these command blocks in the game. Now the first thing that we need to go over is just kind of how Minecraft runs through things in the game. Uh, it will always start with the negative most block first working its way to the positive most block. So if we bring up our debug screen here and take a look while facing east, we are facing our positive x and while facing west we are facing our negative x. What this essentially means is that if we were to get up and fly in this direction you can see our x coordinate gets lower and if we fly in the opposite direction our x coordinate will become positive. Um, this works in all directions x, y, and z, positive z being in the south direction negative z being north which really doesn't make any sense so you got to be sure to pay attention to uh, which direction is actually positive and which direction is actually negative now knowing this is vital for understanding in what direction your command blocks are going to be firing now if say this red wool right here was a line of redstone blocks that were firing a whole series of command blocks uh, these command blocks would fire from negative to positive. So if we placed one right here, uh, this would be our first command block to fire, followed by our second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now it is going to do this in all three directions, firing X coordinates first, then Y coordinates, and then Z coordinates. So it would fire this line first, followed by one, two, three, four, five in that order, and one, two, three, four, five in that order. This is just going to be very, very vital to um, getting your commands to run in the correct sequence when using these clocks because these clocks are going to be incredibly fast and can be a little tricky to work with sometimes. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump into how to set up one of these clocks, which is incredibly simple. Um, it is not a survival friendly clock. You cannot make it in survival mode. You do need to be in creative with cheats enabled and be an operator uh, in order to edit these command blocks and to be able to get them in the first place, which if you guys don't know, um, they are not located anywhere inside of creative mode you do have to use a give command in order to get those um, so we're gonna go ahead and start off uh, just place a command block down and this is going to implement the fill command which if you guys are not familiar fill will just use two sets of um, XYZ coordinates in order to select an area to place blocks in uh, it will also have a data value along with whether you want to replace or destroy the previous blocks in that location and if you want to replace only a previous block with a specific data. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, we want to fill in just the one block space above this command block so it's going to be the same x coordinate, it's going to be y plus 1 and the same z coordinate. And since it's only one block that we're selecting, we're not selecting a uh, an area of blocks. It is just going to be the exact same thing uh, once again. And then we are going to want to place stone with a damage value of zero, so that it is the um, the basic stone that we have right here in our hand. If you were to look, uh, this has a Minecraft name of stone. This also has a Minecraft name of stone and so do all these other six. Um, what changes is that little value um, to the right of the one. Um, this is the damage values for some blocks. Uh, planks do the same thing. So sometimes you may just want to make sure you get it very specific and get the right um, 
data value in there and it does also have to be in there if you want to use the replace uh, part of this which we will be using to replace a redstone block with a damage value of zero as well. Um, now all this is doing is saying that it wants to fill the space just above this command block if it's stone uh, or it wants to replace it with stone if there's a redstone block there. Now since there's no block and this isn't being powered nothing's gonna happen. Um, we're gonna go ahead and place another command block two above that one so that we're leaving that open space and we are essentially gonna run the same command except this time we are gonna do a negative Y so that we are selecting the block below uh, this command block and we're gonna do the opposite of what we just did in the last one so we're gonna do a redstone block with zero and we're going to replace the stone of zero now when I place a redstone block in here you would think that both of these are gonna fire perfectly simultaneously exact same time because they're coming from the same power source um, but because the game reads in a certain direction um, the bottom most one will still fire first and if these were like left and right instead of above each other then the most negative one would fire before the positive one um, so what this is gonna do is it when I place a redstone block in here it will automatically replace it with stone um, uh, and only that redstone block it will replace it with stone um, before this one up here replaces that stone with redstone again so in that split second it is going to deactivate the power to them um, so that it can be reactivated when this command block places the redstone back into place so when we go ahead and place this in here it doesn't look like anything happens at first um, it's kind of tricky you'll learn to just kind of get used to it you'll know uh, when your clocks are running and when your clocks aren't running um, just to give you guys an actual visual on the fact that this is a running clock and it is incredibly fast we're just gonna go ahead and use the give command um, give to Zinji bear we're just gonna do a diamond one so as soon as I hit this done button um, it is just going to start spamming me with diamonds and you guys will see um, we'll have over 64 diamonds in less than 5 seconds not even kidding um, there we go and done uh, I don't know you guys can tell me I don't even think that was 5 seconds this clock is incredibly fast and it is what I'm going to be using in most all of my videos so um, that's why I'm making sure that we do this first so that we can get it out of the way and you guys have an idea of what's going on in future videos and how to set things up. Uh, the great thing about this fill command is that if we go in here and we just change our Z coordinate, say we'll move it 5 over. So now we're selecting from this block to the block in the same position except 5 over in the positive Z direction which we can tell from this sign is in that direction um, make sure you do this to the other one as well and the way to check to make sure that your clock is still running is just go ahead and place some stone in here and it should automatically get replaced yep as you can see there we are placing stone this is stone we are placing stone and it is automatically getting replaced um, so now you are running your clock, but you're not only running your clock, you can now use just these two command blocks to run an entire series of command blocks. And uh, so that's why it's going to be vitally important that you know in what order that these guys are going to be firing in. Uh, for future videos especially, um, things can get tricky, so just make sure you're always paying attention to that. Always. Uh, give you guys a heads up as to uh, if command blocks need to fire in a specific direction or not. But I think that is going to wrap it up for this first episode. I hope you guys were able to follow along easily. Um, and I hope you guys will join me for future episodes, which will be 
much more exciting. We're gonna start tapping into some really awesome things that you can do with command blocks. I'm gonna do my best not to um, try and try and copycat anything that I've seen from uh, other YouTubers uh, or anything like that. I may implement certain things I have learned from other videos, but we're gonna try and come up with some cool creative things to uh, to do with those. And I will always be sure to uh, credit anything in videos um, that I might not explain, but that I learned from somebody else. So always be sure to check that description. Be sure to just subscribe so that you can get the newest, latest, awesome videos that are coming out. And be sure to hit that like button. Leave comments in the comment section if you've got anything to say. And I will see you later, YouTube.